Hello. <laughs> okay. So today you have the option of using a chair or you can always sit on the floor. It's just that some people have told me that sitting cross-legged is not the most comfortable thing. So I'll be giving options from the chair, but otherwise you can sit all the way down onto your mat. Today we'll have a class for everyone, like every Sunday. We want to work with some basic and fundamental ideas of yoga. Again, it doesn't mean that it has to be an easy class. It totally depends on you. You can always take different, more challenging options, but I will be giving the more beginners options also so that everyone can get something out of this class. So as I was saying, you can start sitting on a chair or on the ground. What you want is again to sit in front of your sit bones. So the sit bones are the bony parts at the bottom of the pelvis. You can actually get to touch those bony parts of your pelvis and you want to drag them all the way back so that when you're sitting down, you're actually in this anterior pelvic tilt. This is posterior and this is anterior and you want to be sitting back with a long lower back and not just rounding in and abandoning yourself, having all the weight collapse on the lower back. So uncurl the tailbone, the bottom part of the um, spine, which comes in. You want to uncurl it and send it back. And then you want to pull the belly in and reach it up so that you have a long belly. It's the same idea when you're sitting down. So you want to really reach up through the belly button, pull the shoulders all the way up, back and down, and close your eyes. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. And we'll start the practice just being silent and being completely still. In yoga, we're working with our subtle body as well as our physical body and our mental body. So we want to bring that awareness to our energy levels. How are we feeling today? How is our energy today? There's days when Physically, we might be strong, but energetically, we might feel low. We might feel sluggish, lazy, without any energy. At the same time, there are days when physically, we might be feeling a bit low. Physically, we might be a bit weak, but energetically, we might feel good, uplifted and strong and you get all that energy that will actually get you all going, even if physically you have some um, limitations on the specific day. So notice as you're sitting up still, what's happening with your energy today. Today we want to have a practice that will build up our energy but it's important first to ground down in order to build up our energy from that place of grounding down. So connect with your breath. Inhale from the pelvic floor all the way up to the crown of the head. Just visualize your energy lifting up with the inhale and then open the mouth and exhale through the mouth. Make sure you're sitting in front of the sit bones. It's good if the feet are actually grounded. So press your feet on the ground or maybe place a box if your chair in front of your desk is quite high, then you can always place something to have your feet grounded. So press down into the feet, feel the connection of your pelvis with the chair or with the ground if you're sitting on the ground and then pull the belly in, lift it up so that your lower back stays strong. 
Keep your chest proud and think of the back of the skull reaching up to the sky. Relax the muscles of your face, relax your jaw, relax your eyebrows, your inner ears. Again, connect with the breath. Inhale deeply from your pelvic floor, also known as your root, all the way up to the crown of the head. Find more length via that breath and open the mouth and exhale. One more time, inhale deeply. And open the mouth and exhale. Breathe naturally. Stay still and watch how you're feeling just after a couple of breaths. So throughout the practice, you want to have that awareness of your abdominal wall. You want to feel that the abdominal wall is being pulled in and lifting up so that you feel that the chest is proud. We will work with our scapula today, with our shoulders, our shoulder blades. The intention is to keep that strong grounding through the feet, through the pelvis, through the strong lower belly, pulling in, lifting up. The Breath should be steady, long, deep and comfortable and we'll work with our chest because the more we open up the chest, the more we trigger our sympathetic nervous system, which helps us wake up, which helps us be active and energetic. So we'll start just with some shoulder strokes. Bring your shoulders forward, your shoulders up then back and then down. Keep sitting up tall and keep going. Inhale the shoulders forward and up and exhale the shoulders back and down. Go with your own um, range of motion. Maybe don't overdo it, but stay curious. So inhale, go forward and up. See how far up you can go and then back and down. One more time, inhale forward and up. And exhale back and down. Okay, inhale the shoulders forward and up. Hold them up. And then from here, we'll bring right shoulder forward and left shoulder back. Then both shoulders down, right shoulder back and left shoulder forward. And both shoulders up. Inhale and down. Exhale and up. Inhale, and exhale, other way, so from up, go the other way, left forward, right back, and down, right forward, left back, and up. Keep exploring the range of motion, try to keep the back of the neck long, so the back of the skull reaching up, keep breathing, one more rotation. Then bring the arms up, bring the shoulders down, shoulders up and shoulders down. Two more times, up and down. Last time, so you inhale and you elevate the scapula. This is an elevation of the scapula. Exhale and you depress the scapula. This is a depression of the scapula. The scapula are the triangular wings that you can feel at your upper back. And that's what we're working with today. We want to have that awareness. Okay, a little thing about the neck. So when you're sitting up tall, what you want is this muscle that attaches the clavicles, the collarbones, with the back of the skull to lengthen. If you bring your chin forward, then you're actually squeezing that muscle. And if you bring your head back, then you're actually squeezing that muscle because it becomes shorter this distance from the clavicles to the lower skull. So then by lifting the skull up and reaching the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, you're lengthening that muscle. This is our focus. We want this long muscle. A lot of times have an over-exercise, a lot of people have a, like an over-exercised uh, muscle here. 
and the, that way they're like this all the time which used to be me and it often is me so I have to remind myself to length them so that I have a long neck so that's what you want to keep pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down reach the back of the skull up always remember to keep the belly engaged bring your arms forward and open up the palms forward now we'll do some retractions and protractions of the shoulder blades so we'll push forward as if we're pushing against something and then we'll push back pushing the chest forward so push forward exhale and then push back inhale again exhale and inhale three more exhale really exaggerate the push keep the belly in and lifting up and inhale really exaggerate the pull push the shoulders back the chest forward exhale push forward round the upper back inhale push back push the chest forward last one and inhale okay bring the arms forward slightly and take them down sit up tall We'll do a couple more shiraks with the shoulders, but this time you have the option of bringing the arms up. So bringing the shoulders up and down elevates and depresses the scapula. You have the option of raising the arms up, widening the shoulder blades. So what we did before with the protraction, so pushing the back, the, the, the two shoulder blades away from one another, when we're retracting, we're pushing the shoulder blades together and we're, we're protracting, we're pushing them away. So from this place of pulling the shoulder blades away, the one from the other, you want the arms to reach up, keeping the shoulder blades away and then pull the shoulders down. Inhale, elevate, keeping the shoulder blades away the whole time. Exhale, depress, keeping the shoulder blades away. Keep the belly in, reach up and exhale reach down three more inhale reach up and exhale reach down two more inhale reach up keep the arms straight if possible exhale reach down keep the back of the skull reaching up if possible inhale reach up and exhale down okay bring your arms all the way down just take a breath have your awareness at the center of the shoulder blades, at the center of the chest. We'll now add some more movements from the chair or sitting on the ground. So you will make sure that you're sitting in front of the sit bones. You can always place something under your pelvis, under the sit bones to help you pull everything back. So maybe when you're sitting on your desk, have a little cushion there to help you to draw the pelvis back and then keep reaching up through the chest using the deep core muscles. Inhale the arms up. Keep the belly strong as you reach the arms up. And exhale the arms down by your sides. Again, inhale the arms up. We'll now go for a twist to the right. Reach up and exhale, twist. You can hug your thigh or take your hand to the chair if you're on the ground, to the ground. Stay here and inhale, reach the back of the skull higher and exhale, twist a bit more. Keep the hips square and think of the right shoulder moving further to the right, the left shoulder moving further to the front. Inhale deeply, find a deep, find a long spine and exhale, twist a bit taller Reach the head to the right too. Pull the belly in and inhale back to center slowly with control. Reach up, gaze up and exhale, twist to the left. Again, you can bring your hands to the thigh or to anything it can hold on to, the back arm to the chair if you're on the ground, onto the ground. Inhale, find more length through the spine, reach up and exhale, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and twist a bit more, gazing beyond the left shoulder, 
Keep the hips squared, so don't move the left hip back. Keep the left hip next to the right hip. Inhale, find more length through the spine. And exhale, keep the belly lifted up and twist a bit more through the chest and through the shoulders. One more time, inhale deeply. And exhale, twist a bit more. Keep the belly in and inhale, come back to center. Reach, gaze up. And exhale, lateral uh, stretch to the right. So you'll bring your left hand to the side, pick up the chest, the back of the scalp, and then you exhale and laterally stretch to the right. Relax your head, keep the left sit bone the yeah, keep the left sit bone down and reach away through the right arm. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Reach away through a straight arm and exhale. Keep the belly in, the chest proud. Inhale deeply. Round yourself down through the feet, through the sit bones, and exhale. Pull yourself more to the side through the fingertips. Inhale, come back up. Reach up. Gaze up. And exhale, come to the other side. Keep the belly in, pick up the chest. Reach up through the arm. You can relax the head or keep the neck long. Inhale deeply. And exhale, ground yourself down, reach away through the fingertips. One more time, inhale deeply, find more length through the whole side of the body, but also through the side that's being compressed. Make sure that it's not over compressed. Exhale, keep reaching away through the long side. And then inhale, come back up, holding that integrity, that length, Reach up and exhale, bend the elbows, pick up the chest, pick up the chin. We want to push the shoulders back, pick the chin up higher, really open up the upper body. Inhale, pick up the chin higher and exhale, push the shoulders back to unite the shoulder blades and pull the shoulder blades down. Inhale and exhale, elbows back, think of the inner shoulder blades pushing forward and up, pick up the chin, inhale here, and exhale, slowly bring the elbows forward, the chin in, and come back to seated. Close your eyes, again, feel how you're feeling, the levels of your energy, the effects of these poses. All of the back bends, all of these openings of the heart, they trigger our sympathetic nervous system. So they're a great way to wake up and to stay alert, to stay awake. So whenever you feel that your energy is a bit low, it's good to do some of these heart openers to pick it up. Of course, make sure first that you're grounded, that you feel grounded, that your feet are on the ground and keep your lower belly in and lifting up as a deep core action that will keep you safe and also energetically will keep you strong and grounded. So talking about grounded, our forward folds are the way to ground our energy and to calm ourselves down. So when you need to do that, you round forward. So we'll do just one forward fold. Inhale, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and exhale, pull the belly in and up and start bringing the chest forward. You can just rest your elbows on your thighs or allow your whole body to curve down. Remember, you can do it from the chair or on the ground. And curl your tailbone, so keep thinking of anterior pelvic tilt, sending your sit bones back, and then pull your lower belly in, reach it forward, pull the shoulder blades down the back, depress the scapula, and just allow your chin to round it. We'll take five deep breaths here. Press down into your points of contact with the ground, your feet, your hips. Inhale from the root to the crown of the head. Open the mouth and exhale out. Four more times. Inhale, find more length through the spine. And then let it go through the mouth. Cleanse the whole body three more times. Inhale. And exhale, 
two more. You might find yourself rounding down more or you might stay up. It doesn't matter. Just keep going. Exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Press down into the feet. Press down to the pelvis. Pull the belly in. And inhale. Come up very slowly. Sit up. Feel how you're feeling right now. Feel the effect of a forward fall, the effect of triggering your parasympathetic nervous system, the effect of calming your whole body and your energy down. So it's little tricks like this that can help you manipulate your energy throughout the day. Now we'll get a bit more active. So we'll come away from our chair and we'll make sure that we have some space so we can move. You want to stand up tall, bring your shoulders all the way back and down, so depress the scapula. Bring your hands to your floating ribs, so the lower ribs, and then exhale, feel how the ribs come in. Press down into the feet, inhale, and try to hold the rib cage closed, reaching up through the chest. And exhale, keep the belly in, the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Inhale with the belly in, the rib cage in, lift up the chest and exhale, keep pressing the feet down. This might feel very weird because you're constricting your, the movement of the rib cage, but holding this engagement can really work your deep core muscles. So inhale and exhale, release your arms, but try to hold that intention at least to keep lifting up through the pelvic floor, pull our belly in and up and keep the rib cage closed. Press down into the feet and inhale the arms up, reach up, gaze up, exhale your arms by the sides. Keep the belly in, lift up through the pelvic floor, inhale the arms up, reach up and then we'll twist to the right. So twist and you can grab your side body with opposite hands, inhale, pick up the chest, the chin and exhale, twist by twisting through the shoulders. Start twisting the pelvis too. So press down into the feet and reach the right pelvis back, the right rib cage back, the right shoulder back. Inhale, pick up the head a bit more and exhale, twist a bit more, twist a bit taller, keep pressing down into the feet. Keep the belly in, inhale, come back to center slowly with control watching what's happening with the body, reach the arms up. We'll go to the other side. So find that integrity, that length, and exhale, keeping that length. Find your hands to opposite side body. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, twist from the head, the shoulders, the upper body, the middle body, the lower back, and the pelvis. Press the feet down, keep the legs straight if possible, reach the back of the skull up, and exhale, twist a bit more. Maybe it doesn't look like my twist, but you do your twist. Inhale, find some more length, pressing down into the feet, reaching the back of the skull up, and exhale, twist a bit more. Beautiful. Keep the belly in, and inhale, come back to center. Reach the arms back up. Gaze up. And exhale, bring your right hand to the right hip, reach up to the left hand, and laterally stretch. Make sure that the right shoulder is back and the right shoulder blade is actually depressed and reach up and away through the left shoulder. Straighten the arm, inhale deeply and exhale, pressing to the feet. Feel the length of the whole left body. Inhale again through that length and exhale, pull the belly and reach further away through the fingertips as you press down into the feet. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up, gaze up, and exhale to the other side. Keep the belly in, pick up the chest, pull the left shoulder blade down the back and reach the right shoulder up. Make sure that the shoulder is back and down, left shoulder, and then inhale, reach away through a straight right arm. Keep the belly in and up. Exhale, press down into the feet and reach away through the right arm. Inhale deeply through the whole right side and exhale completely, reach away through the hand. Good, inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up, gaze up, 
and exhale, bring your hands to the hips, bring the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, the chin in, and round through the upper back, round through the middle back, and round through the lower back. So keep the chin attached to your chest or towards that, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and keep pressing down into the feet, you'll feel the glutes activating, lifting up, and then the pelvic floor activating, lifting up, those are thin layers of muscles at the pelvis, and you want to think of them squeezing and lifting up, lower belly coming in and lifting up, keep the ribcage closed, inhale here, and exhale, bend the knees, and maybe round down a bit more. If you're comfortable, you can release your arms. Just allow them to hang there. Inhale, find more length through the rounded spine. And exhale, keep your chin in as you come a bit lower. Inhale, keep pressing down into the feet to feel the glutes activating. Glutes towards kidneys, kidneys towards floating ribs. Floating ribs in and lifting up. And exhale, relax the muscles of the face. Relax the shoulder blades down the back. One more deep breath here. And open the mouth, let it go through the mouth. Beautiful, keep the knees bent, pull the belly in, and keep the chin to chest as you unroll up. Very slowly, unroll up. Feel that you're articulating each vertebra of your spine, and then bring the chin up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Bring your arms forward, we'll do some um, wrist work. So open up the fingers wide, really widen the fingers and then exhale, bring the fingers together, really press the fingers together. Then really widen, push forward through the palm and then fingers together. If it's too much, go for your range of motion, but the idea is to really press forward through the palm, through the wrist and then exhale the fingers together. Fingers wide open and then together, if possible, keep the arms strong and straight. And then we'll go quicker with the movement. So pick up the pace, really opening up the fingers every time, but keep breathing slowly, pressing down into the feet, keeping a strong, still torso as you're moving the fingers really fast for 10, nine, eight, go faster, seven, six, five, open really wide, six, five, four, three, two, two, and, all right, release, again, roll the shoulders back and down, and hug the left wrist, roll the wrist around, good, okay, and then roll the other wrist around, clockwise and anticlockwise. Come to the front of your mat. We'll do a variation of a sun salutation. So press down into the feet, pull the lower belly in, lift it up, reach the chest up, the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Inhale, press down into the feet and reach the arms up. Gaze up and exhale, fold forward. You can always bend the knees and you want to interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, release your arms, take the hands to the ground, you can always bend, bend the knees, and bring the right knee back, open up the chest, and then exhale, we'll come forward, press the feet down, and interlace the hands behind our back, pull the belly in. Press down into the feet and come up, bending the knees can always help, have a lower back that's healthy and low, and exhale the arms down. Okay, left side, this time we can back bend a bit more, so inhale the arms up, Chest up, chin up, and find a back bend through the upper back. And exhale, fold forward. Hug your hands together, interlace the fingers, bend the knees, and curl the tailbone up. Inhale, bring your hands down, left knee back, left knee down. Pick up the chest, think of back bending the upper chest. And then exhale, come forward, press the feet down. Interlace the fingers together and bring chest to thighs. Press the knee, the feet down, bend the knees, inhale, come up, reach up, back bend slightly, keep the belly in, press the feet down, 
and exhale, arms by your sides. Okay, one more time, each side. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, arms up, arms back, and exhale, fold. You can keep the legs straight if it's comfortable, but bending the knees is always better for the lower back. Inhale, take the hands to the ground, knee back, knee down. Keep the belly in and you can bring the arms up this time, or keep the hands down, and exhale, come to the front. Pull the belly in, bring the feet together, and interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, come back up, belly in, reach up, reach back, pelvis forward, and then exhale, come back to your standing position, a strong, straight back. Inhale, the arms up, last side, pick up the chest, hands back, pelvis forward, and exhale, fold forward. Interlace the fingers behind the back, keep the belly in, chest towards the shins. Inhale, the left foot back, hands to the ground, left knee down, option to bring the arms up or keep them down, open up the upper chest and exhale, come forward, press into the right foot to bring the left foot next to it and interlace the, the hands behind the back. Inhale, bend the knees if needed and rise up, pick up the chest, Press the feet down and open up, and then exhale, hands to the sides. Inhale, the right foot just one meter back. If you are comfortable with a wider stance, then you can go for one and a half meters back. But you want the hips to stay straight. You can keep the heel on the ground or lift the back heel, and then you can Bend the front knee so that it comes over the heel of the front foot, or you can stay higher up. Keep the back leg straight, keep the belly in and lifting up, and maybe keep the hands onto the hips or bring the arms up. Inhale, reach higher up through the chest, elevate the scapula if the arms are up, depress the scapula if the arms are down, and exhale, maybe come a bit deeper, bring the knee over the heel. Don't allow the knee to come further front than the heel because that's a lot of pressure on the knee. Inhale, keep reaching the chest up, the arms up if they're up, and exhale, straighten the back leg, pull the belly in and up, feel the right glute working. Okay, bring your hands back to the hips, bring the weight a bit forward, press onto the front foot, and maybe with one step or with more than one step, bring the back foot forward. Press into the right foot and go straight for the other side. Again, around one meter back is fine. One and a half meters back or one leg's distance, uh, maybe better. So try what works for you. The closer the distance, the less challenging. And the wider you open the feet, the easier it is for your balance. Keep the back heel up or take it to the ground. Inhale, pick up the chest wherever you are if you want to bring the arms up. If you're bringing the arms down, up, elevate the scapula, so reach the arms up. If your hands are on the hips, then you're pulling the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, keeping the chest proud. Inhale here, keep pressing down into the feet, keep the belly strong, reach up through the chest. And exhale here, keep the back leg straight, press into the back foot, feel the back glute, the left glute squeezing. Inhale, press into the feet, feel the thighs working, and exhale, okay. Press into the front foot, bring the weight forward, push, and maybe with one step or more, come to the front. So that was our variation of warrior one, and now we're going for warrior two. In order to go to warrior two, we'll turn to the side, open up our feet again, one meter or one and a half meters. Press down into the feet, pull the belly in, pick up the chest. Reach up through the chin, and then from here, we will first do a, a forward fold. So keep the belly in, the chest up, and exhale. You can bend the knees if it's too much for the hamstrings and for the lower back, and fold a bit forward. Try to keep your back straight, maybe you're higher up. What's important is to uncurl the tailbone, press into the feet, and if you can, straighten the legs and press the outer feet down. Inhale, keep the belly in, the chest reaching forward, and exhale, maybe fold a bit more. It's fine to stay higher up. 
Inhale, keep pressing the outer feet down. And exhale, keep the belly in and reaching forward. The ribcage in and reaching to the chest, the shoulder blades towards the lower back. Pressing to the feet, pull the belly in and inhale, come up with the strength of your legs and the strength of your core. Warrior two. So we'll open up the right foot to the side and we'll bend the right knee. So it looks like this. Again, if you want to go deeper, you can lengthen your legs so that your front knee can actually come to 90 degrees. But it's fine to stay higher up when you're learning the poses. So press down into the feet and activate your glutes. Pull the belly in, lift up, chest up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. From here, you'll open up the arms, you'll reach out way through the arms, separating the shoulder blades and you'll keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, you'll reach up through the back of the skull. Option to keep the, the head facing the same direction as the chest, or to turn the face so that you're gazing at the right fingertips. Keep the belly in, press down into the feet, inhale, pressing down into the feet, feel the left glute working, the right thigh working, pick up the chest, and exhale, keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back and the back of the skull reaching up. Inhale, one more breath here. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, straighten the leg, bring the foot back to center and open up the other foot. Mm -hmm. So we want the left leg to face forward. So what's happening here is actually the leg that turned that hip is being opened. So the back leg is actually neutral where we were before and it's just the front hip that's opening. And then you bend the front knee. So the knee that's bent is the leg that's actually being asked to open up the hip. If you have more limited hip mobility, then it's easier to keep the right hip facing slightly forward, keeping the belly in and up and reaching our way through the arms. If your hips are quite open, you can stay with this position. Front knee towards a right angle and don't allow the knee to splay out to the sides or to go further in front than the heel. Reach the chest up, the chin up, pull the arms away, really reach away through the arms. Think that you're being pulled away. Pull the shoulder blades back and down. Gaze to the front if you want to. If it's too much for the neck, keep gazing forward. Wherever you are, think of the long neck, a long distance from the clavicles to the skull, the back of the skull. Inhale, reach up and exhale, press into the feet, activate the glutes, activate the thighs, reach up through the lower belly. Inhale, reach away through the arms, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. And exhale, keep pressing down through the feet and reaching up through the skull. Inhale, straighten the front leg and come back to center. Bring your hands back to the hips. Exhale, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, anterior pelvic tilt. And exhale, again, fold forward one more time with a straight back as much as possible. So again, stay higher up if you want to, or this time if you want, you can use your hands to walk down the legs and maybe grab onto the ankles or the big toes. Inhale, pick up the chest a bit more wherever you are and exhale, keep pressing out, outer feet down, straighten the legs if possible and curl the tailbone back, pull the belly in and towards the chest, relax the face, relax the head. One more deep inhale here, keep pressing down into the feet to activate the legs, keep on curling the tailbone up to lengthen the lower back, keep lower belly in and towards the chest. Press down into the feet, if needed, bend the knees. Keep the chin close to the chest and you can walk the hands up so that they go to the hips. Press the feet down, pull the belly in and with the strength of your legs and the strength of your belly come up. Again, bending the knees might help. Pick up the chest, pick up the chin, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Turn to face the front. Again, bring weight to the front, press into the foot and come forward. We'll come to a sit again. Uh, so you can again sit onto the chair or come to your mat. We'll 
straighten the legs if you're on the ground. You want the left leg to be straight and then you'll bring the right foot on top of the thigh. So if you're on the ground, the left leg is straight. If you're on the chair, the left knee is bent. Again, you want to sit in front of the sit bones and pick up the chest. Maybe your knee is high up, that's fine. The hip might need some time. You want to think of the knee moving away from the pelvis rather than down. Just find that length. And you want to think of the pubic bone coming in and reaching up. Pick up the chest, chin up, shoulders back, de um, depress the shoulder blades. <laughs> Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, fold forward. Keep the pubis going back. Maybe this is all you go to, or maybe you come lower. Keep uncurling the tailbone, keep the belly engaged and the chest reaching forward. Inhale deeply, keep the feet flexed, and exhale, fold forward. Keep the feet flexed to activate the leg muscles. Inhale, and exhale, keep the chest proud. Inhale, and open the mouth. Exhale, you can let the head go. Belly in, and inhale, come up. Reach the chest up, and you can use your hands to switch sides. Left leg on top, again, you can flex the left foot. Send the pubis back. Sit in front of the pubis. Maybe staying here is enough, and you need to breathe. Maybe this is already too much, so if it's too much, you can always just bring the foot to the outside of the leg, and just keep your hands onto the side, so that you're opening up the hip and breathing up here. But if you can place the foot on top, flex the foot, pick up the chest, and exhale. Maybe you fold, maybe you stay high up. Inhale. And exhale, pull belly in and forward. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Keep belly in, inhale and come up. And exhale, come back. Bring the knee up and away. Good job. Okay, so we'll open up our legs. You want to come to the edge of your seat if you're on a chair or simply uh, open up your legs wide if you're on the ground. So open up your legs. Bending the knees, again, might give you some more comfort to the lower back because legs straight asks for a lot of hamstring flexibility. And if you don't have that hamstring flexibility, then you'll end up being pulled in by your hamstrings and rounding in. So bend the knees if it's not working, we're trying to have a lower back. Pick up the chest, the chin, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and exhale, fold forward. You can think of the pubis coming back, make sure that you're grounded through the back of your seat. Inhale, pick up the chest a bit more, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and exhale, maybe fold a bit more. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Inhale, keep the length of the lower back, keep the belly in and forward, and open the mouth, exhale. Good. Belly in and inhale, come up using the strength of your legs, the strength of your core, and exhale. You can use your hands to bring the feet together. So straighten the legs. Again, you want to be at the edge of your seat. Pull the belly in and pick up the chest. So if you're on the ground, it's the same idea. Pasimottanasana, sit at forward fold, straight legs. Send the sit bones back, pull the belly in, lift up. Pull the ribcage in, lift up. You can use your hands to grab onto your seat, onto the ground. Inhale, again, uncurl the tailbone, anterior pelvic tilt. Keep the feet flexed to activate the quads. And exhale, fold a bit forward. Keep the belly in. You'll feel a stretch at the hamstrings now. Keep the lower back long, inhale, and exhale, maybe fold a bit more. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Inhale, keep the feet flexed, and exhale. Make sure you don't fall off your chair. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, one more time. Inhale deeply, find more length. Sending the sit bones back, the pubis back, pulling the belly in and reaching it towards the chest. And open the mouth, exhale out. Pull the belly in and inhale, come up. Reach up 
and exhale, you can use your hands to bend the knees. If you can sit further back if you're on the chair, we're going to round the back again. So shoulders back, shoulder blades down, bring the chin in, and then round it. If you're on the ground, you can have the legs straight or the knees bent, and again round it. So if you're on the ground, legs straight, chin in, and round in, bring head towards the knees. Think of the body rounding up as if I'm placing a hand on your upper back and I'm asking you to push there, to really push up through the middle back, through the upper back, keep the chin in and round it. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Really lengthen the back of the neck. Bring all of your awareness inwards. How are you feeling right now? What is this pose doing to your energy? Keep relaxing the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Keep flexing the front of the body, rounding up through the upper back, through the middle back, pulling the shoulders towards the ceiling and towards the back, keeping the belly in and lifting up. Good job. Bring the chin in and inhale. Come back up. Reach up. And sit still for a moment. Close your eyes. Concentrate on your belly and do some belly breathing. Inhale into the belly. And exhale. Pull the belly button back in. If you want to check what you're doing, you can bring a hand to the chest and a hand to the belly. Inhale and push the belly forward. Let the chest be still. And exhale, pull the belly back. Keep the back of the skull up, integrity in your seat. Inhale into the belly. And exhale, pull it back in. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, keep sitting up tall. Inhale into the belly. And exhale, pull it back in. Sit in front of the sit bones, pick up the chest, shoulders, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Straighten the arms and allow the back of the wrists, the back of the hands, the top of the wrists to rest on the knees. Bring the thumbs and the index fingers together and straighten the other three fingers. So press the tips of the thumbs and the index fingers together, so together lightly. Keep the arms straight. One more time, we'll bring the shoulders forward, the shoulders up, the shoulders back, and the shoulders down. Pull the shoulder blades down, reach the back of the skull up. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Keep the lower belly slightly engaged, pulling in and lifting up. Press the feet onto the ground, find a strong seat. And then from there, relax your breath. Allow the breath to be natural. If you feel that it's a lot of work with your body right now, then feel free to lie down, lie face up. We want to do three to four minutes of stillness. So if you prefer to lie down, Find a comfortable position for you to lie face up, bending the knees and bringing the knees together will lengthen the lower back. So keep the feet shoulder width apart and bring the knees together. If you're comfortable sitting up, then we'll take this as a meditation, an opportunity to stay still and watch our thoughts, watch our feelings, watch what comes up. distractions in your head or outside your body then just notice the distractions notice what it is that's trying to take you away from your stillness acknowledge it 
and come back to stillness, come back to your comfortable seat, come back to your comfortable breath and come back to the place of observing, observe what's happening in your head, in your body, watch, listen, feel, stay open, stay receptive. Being still in a world that's just spinning around like crazy is a form of rebellion. But unless we become rebels in that way, unless we take the time, just a couple of minutes every day to be still and to watch, then we'll just allow the hurricane to just win with us apart all the time. Find some time every day to be still, to stay in the eye of the hurricane and just watch what's happening around. So you can take decisions that help you stay healthy and stay happy. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Breathe into your belly. Fill the belly with air, exhale, allow the belly to deflate back in, inhale into the belly, expand the front, the sides, the back of the belly, open the mouth and just sigh it out comfortably, slowly. Start bringing awareness to your fingertips, to your toe tips, and start moving your fingers, your toes. You can start moving the head from side to side. And do strong, do some controlled movements to slowly stretch the whole body. Maybe you reach the arms all the way up. Relax all the way straight, you find some length, some spine movement, and then you can slowly find your way to a seated position again. A strong seated position on your chair or, not, or on the mat, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Finish with three lion's breaths. So bring your hands to the thighs. Inhale and around your back. And exhale, push your chest forward, stick the tongue out and make a hissing sound. Two more, inhale. Last one, make it the biggest hiss ever. Back to seated, inhale your arms up, reach up, exhale, bend the elbows into a cactus, pick up the chin, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, inhale, pick up the chest a bit more, the chin a bit more, bring the shoulder blades together, pull the shoulder blades down, 
and then exhale slowly relax and bring your hands to the center of your chest allow your shoulders to come back the shoulder blades to come down and the head to bow down to the heart good job everyone thank you for trying something new today for going through this class whether with a chair or on the ground just to be conscious and to move with attention with specificity to learn more about your body physical body emotional body mental body so that you can live this life the best way that it serves you and the best way that it serves the world around you we finish the practice saying namaste which literally just means hello <laughs> I bow to you, I see you. We say it as a sign of respect to one another, as a sign of recognition that what's inside us is one and the same. So thank you for your practice, your strength, your effort. What's inside me honors and celebrates what's inside you. Namaste. Good job. If you have any comments, questions, recommendations, you let me know. Otherwise, I will see you later. And if you... Yeah. Alright, and if you'd like, you can find these videos on YouTube. So I will now upload them tomorrow. Tomorrow, a lot of new videos are coming on YouTube on the Cypriot Yogi channel. Um, and again, you can find my schedule online. And other than that, if you need anything, you let me know. <laughs>